Oh, good girl. It's okay. Dr Cara is spending more time with animals that she cares for as she leaves the administration up to an app. We log in, we write the patient's name and most importantly we ask the client for consent to use AI to write the consult notes. Hi, I'm calling about Winston's blood results. I was wondering if you consent to using AI for me to write the consult notes for today. It's made my job so much easier and I wouldn't want to go back to working without it. Green Cross, which owns this practice, just did a deal with Heidi Health to roll it out nationally. The AI startup also has backing from investment firms like Blackbird. We've been really fortunate to get, have, go through a number of rounds of funding. We'd have a couple of hundred thousand users a week um, using Heidi in Australia. The Tech Council's boss thinks the Australian AI industry is about to boom. There are around 30,000 people whose main job, they wake up every day and they work on AI. We believe that gets to 200,000 by 2035 if we get the investment right. Have you made an order from overseas agency? This startup is growing in size as it takes on contracts with Commonwealth Bank and TPG. I truly believe in the power of AI and the way that we really can build so much on this. Aparte develops chatbots that take on scammers. Our inspection have found undeclared electronic devices. Is this some sort of joke, mate? We call them the armies of bots infiltrating and disrupting the networks of scammers. They're scamming the scammers themselves. Advanced conversational AI is really one key component of what we're building. Aparte trained its chatbots by feeding real conversations between scammers and actors into a large language model. This is the same technology made famous by OpenAI's ChatGPT three years ago. That company is now in talks that would value it at US $500 billion. Other big global players include Claude's owner Anthropic, now valued at US $183 billion, and smaller players like Perplexity worth $18 billion. The value of computer chip maker NVIDIA also recently passed $4 trillion US dollars. We are just starting this next stage of the AI revolution, and that's being led by not just NVIDIA, Microsoft, Palantir, and others. We don't believe this is a bubble. This is a fourth industrial revolution. It absolutely is cultish. You could say that's why people suspect it's a bit of a bubble. But the money keeps on flowing into this sector. Locally, Atlassian is also making billion dollar plays in AI. There is a huge focus here on who can develop AI and who can develop the fastest. And the question for Australia is what is our piece of the pie here? Up to 60% of large businesses here are now using artificial intelligence in some way, according to fresh analysis by JP Morgan, with the firm concluding that uptake is looking significant. Hey Siri, search for OpenAI. I found this on the web. Belinda Barnett is one expert that is urging caution as the momentum builds. I think they're selling themselves as the natural future, that we don't have much choice, it's coming at us and it's coming at us fast. One of the things that we should definitely do is keep the guardrails that we do have in place. When it comes to implementation of current laws, we don't believe that AI needs necessarily different rules to what people expect. Dali Kafa hopes that his chatbot company becomes profitable in years to come. We're weaponizing AI for good. And I think, you know, Apache AI is really a very good example of how we can build AI models for the good and for the good of everyone. As AI continues to infiltrate all parts of life.